So I am Marge McClure. I am a life transformation coach here in the St. Charles office. So the one thing that really attracts me to being here and drives me and motivates me to come to work every day is I get to serve the population that um, I felt the most connected to, um, and that's the re-entry uh, population. And so um, growing up, my father was in and out of jail, um, in and out of incarceration. My sisters and my brother and I, we just kind of bounced around a lot. Uh, my father was also a single father. My mother passed away when we were, when I was seven years old. And so it was really challenging for him to um, not only just battling with addiction, he was grieving in that process. There were times that we wouldn't even see our father for like, four or five days because he was, you know, just really bad on drugs and his tongues. And we, you know, s skipped around a lot. And um, our grandmother and our um, aunt took us in, but it just really wasn't even a good situation for them because they were on fixed incomes and trying to care for four other kids was a lot. Um, so your families are affected um, by um, incarceration. There were times where we didn't have food, um, we were homeless, we were always getting evicted. Um, we didn't have utilities a lot of the time. Luckily for us, we did have um, some of our school support in elementary school, but after that, we kind of hid a lot of things that were going on in our home because we just we were embarrassed. Uh, we didn't want people to know. We were um, scared that child services would take us and separate us. We only had a, one parent, so we, we held on to him um, like he was gold. And he wasn't perfect, but he was still our parent. And so the importance of, I feel like, of reentry is that at Connections, we work with the whole family because you are a family unit. And so that's something that really drives me when I'm working with my participants because I've been there. Um, some of them have childhood trauma um, or they are the parent that, that has abused drugs. And I wish that we had this type of program for my father and it might have changed a lot of the trajectory of choices that even he made, that me and some of my siblings might have made. Um, and today my dad is clean. He's been clean for the for probably a little over 10 years. Um, stopped drinking alcohol five years ago, stopped smoking two years ago. Um, and so we, we are very proud of him. It, it doesn't change the trauma, but it definitely helps us to be able to move forward. And so I believe in what we do here. Um, and I just love that I can be a part of that that process of seeing people change and watching it change their their families' lives, especially when it involves their children.